Right after come from the bin, she's going to use the same 70% alcohol to sanitize her hand again, just to ensure that it's free from germs or anything. So the station is ready, and she's going to start to uh, display her white material to spread on the The white material to be spread on the table while she's going to start to remove her equipment and place them on the table. In the, in the top drawer, we have spatulas. She's going to take all of them out and we are going to name them one at a time. These are all spatulas. Okay. Also below the cupboard, we have different equipment in the cupboard. Right, we have, because there's no light there, we are going to take them out. You can see that different equipment are there. We are going to take them out and you can see what each equipment, what is the name and what they are used for. So she's about to take them out. All these equipment, they have been sanitized, so we are about to start to name them. So she's going to start. Non-metal spatula, large non-metal spatula, coated steel blade, tapered spatula, small metal spatula, and a large metal spatula. That will be our porcelain mortar and pestle. And our glass mortar and pestle. Your ointment tile. There are some that will be porcelain and some that will be glass. She's putting them back in the cupboard. Watch glass, your plastic funnel, your crucible. We have our beakers from size 30 to 800 mils, and our measuring cylinders from 100 mil to 10 mils. Conical flask. We have 250, 500, and 150 mils. And last but not least, our wash bottle that we use for our water, distilled water that you use to make your product. Our granular cylinders we normally use for mixing. They will be a part of your cupboard, which means, means that you need to check them off, but they are not normally used on a daily basis. We have from size 500 to two drams. All right. Good afternoon students. So this is where your bottles are kept for your labs, your packaging bottles for your labs, for your products. And as you can see, we have the amber bottles on this side and we have the clear bottles on this side. And they're made of glass, so please be careful with them. On this side for the amber bottles, we have 60 ml bottles, 30 ml bottles, 120 bottles, and we have up to 250. We have the same on the other side. We have 60 for the clear, 120 up to 250. We also have your gloves and there will be different sizes provided for you. Large, medium, small and we also have the pill jars that are normally kept to the side of this lab. For this dispensing and pharmaceutics lab, we normally have three types of balances that you would use. We have our torsion balance, our top loading balance, and our analytical balance. We have stopped utilizing the torsion balance, but we still allow students to see it, see where they're coming from, and how it is that you are supposed to use it and take care of both the balances that we are now using, which is the top loading and analytical. 
this is another equipment that we use in our dispensing and pharmaceutics lab or water bath it's a concentric water bath which means that you don't put anything down inside of it and whatever it is that you use to melt down your products is placed on top of it it has concentric winds that you can move them depending on the size container that you'll be placing on top of the water baths The products that are made inside of this particular laboratory requires you to have distilled water, which means that you cannot use the water from the, the taps. So no tap water, but distilled water, which is placed in these two jars or containers at the back of the lab, and you fill your individual container from them each day that you're having your dispensing labs. Counter, the lab is separated into six different tables that uh, have three students that are now assigned to each of them. At the end of each of the uh, tables, you have individual stock containers that you will take your products from to make your, your products or ingredients that you'll make your products. And then from there, you return them to the original place that you found them. They're normally kept in alphabetical order and they're not shared among each bench. So each bench will have their own individual stocks we have a cabinet at the front that have your ingredients in it it is also um, stocked from the top to the bottom shelves and it is also placed in alphabetical order and the things that you take from the shelf as you do with your benches you're supposed to return them in the alphabetical order that you took them from so that other persons will understand and find where their stock drugs will be that they can use to make their products. Volumetric equipment are those equipment that you can use for measuring, while non-volumetric are those one you can just use for holding. Even though they have calibration, they cannot be used for measuring. Examples of uh, volumetric, we have the measuring cylinder. This is a size uh, 10 mil. This is 25 and this is 50. Beakers and conical flasks, they are non volumetric Even though there's calibration on them, they are just used for the, the liquid. So we are not using them for measurement. That is why we classify them as a non, non volumetric So this is just 50 mil. It says it can hold approximately 50 mil, but it's not meant for measuring 50 mil. If we are to measure a 50 ml liquid, we use a, a measuring cylinder. This is a 50 ml measuring cylinder.